Okay, now we created this little headphone concept. And what we can do, I'm going to just give this file a name, product development and renderings. And what, what I'm going to do now is to validate this idea on a human package, let's say. So create a new file with a square one. And I'm going to upload my sketch here. So this was the original sketch. We generated the, the different kind of renderings. But now what I'm going to do is to validate this design on a human. So let's go to the 3D layers. And we have like a chest and head model. That's what I'm going to use for that. Let's rotate it in the appropriate angle. It's, it's a little bit different than a full side view, but something like that. I would say something like this. And zoom it a bit like that. Add to my canvas. And now what I'm going to do is to put this little headphone sketch up top, set it to multiply, click on this human and just try to make a composition where the headphone is in the center or the headphone is in the focus. But let's try to make it work here. It's like a bulkier over ear headphone. And now from this point, I can just erase the unwanted parts from the headphone and also from the human model as well. We can utilize the 3D layers or 3D workflow by importing this human model into the scene and putting the headphone on her. And this will show how nicely you can combine 3D models with hand sketches you know, to get a coherent rendering. And let's go to the human head and just let's get rid of the unwanted internal parts which will be covered by the headphone. We don't want the ear to come through our rendering. Okay, so just roughly clean it up nicely like this. And now we have the combination of a 3D human model and the sketch on top of her. So I'm going to prompt a um, woman with long hair. With long hair is wearing an olive color headphone concepts. And Viscom General decrease the influence around 80% and just hit render. So woman with long hair is wearing an olive colored headphone design concept. And we're actually hoping to get a similar result what we got in the product development file. Okay, I'm going to also say that an olive colored fabric, fabric headphone concept and with 60% I hit generate. Okay, so we got our wish scene and we could pretty much, and it could pretty much generate the same headphone which we just designed. So this upper headband part is fabric and this part is like a quality matte plastic and the cushion part is also like something of a leather or fabric, which is going to be perfect for us. So now let's recreate that screen, or that idea what we had here. So let's create an ellipse again and just do that same thing what I've done before. Let's make it fill. But this time I'm going to do a bigger one without the chamfer. And let's try to create some graphic, which will be cool. I increase the size a little bit. I'm going to use some similar color, which I did before, but I'm going to lower the opacity even more. Try to create some graphic, which is related to some immersive relaxation or something like that. I can put some harsher highlights here. And let's create a reflection again.
lower the opacity of it. So use this soft eraser to create that little reflection, for example. And this is what we created as, as an expressive headphone design concept and we validate it on a human as well. Feel free to come up with any kind of graphics into the screen or if you have a completely different idea other than a screen, that's very good. Feel free to explore this theme. What we also can do is to recreate the, try to recreate at least the same graphic which I had before. So it looks something like that, I believe so. So I'm going to export this scene as well. I mean with the reflections and also with the other graphics as well. So we created a cool headphone design concept, some various different visualizations and CMF for that. I could even make this one as well to make the screen a bit bigger here to go back and reiterate because on our human package, I noticed that we would need a bigger screen, perhaps. Yeah, so I would rather use something like this, get this reflection part as well, and make it a bit bigger. And I'm just going to quickly recreate the graphic which I had in mind. Just like that. And I'm hitting export this time. So I just increase the size of the screen to fit better in my human render. So that would be the end of this course. We created some very nice visuals and renderings out of our headphone design concept, which we just designed in the application. I hope this course was interesting or helpful, and I can't wait to see what you're designing with Wiscom.